It's a 2013 Volkswagen Passat with a check engine light. Two codes in it, P0140 and P1114. Both related to uh, Bank 1, Sensor 2, which is the bad one after the Cadillac Converter. Let's get to it. So I was here yesterday and uh, they called me for the uh, for the for the car. I uh, did a scan on it. I looked at the codes, uh, searched some information. Uh, I recommend um, replacing the O2 sensor because it's cheaper than uh, doing a diag on it. Especially when they have an account with the AutoZone, they can always return parts if they don't need them. And uh, they swapped the O2 sensor, cleared the codes, and the codes came back. So they called me. I said, well, okay, now I need to come and charge you for my diet. Uh, we are here. I am almost 100% uh, sure that I found the problem. Uh, that's why I decided to pull up the camera and uh, I show you guys. Because a lot of people uh, replace the O2 sensor and that doesn't fix their issue. Um, let's go to the scanner first to show you guys it's a p p0140 active o2 sensor circuit bank one sensor two no activity detected and p1114 active static bank one sensor two internal resistance too high uh, let us draw a baseline to what are we doing so I disconnected the sensor let me go back down to connect it so the key on sensor is connected uh, we can see here in the live data that uh, both sensors have same voltage 1.48 and uh, sensor 1 resistance is 510 ohms sensor 2 resistance is NA this is our issue right here okay this is our issue uh, and this is our baseline so if we get this number to be changed that means it's a definite fix that's why the engine is throwing uh, the check I mean the engine control module is throwing a, a code because it's not seeing a proper uh, um, reading here so I couldn't find any description for those uh, specific codes but what I found in all that an oxygen sensor after Cadillac converter check-in and there is a specific check-in that includes mount meter, wire and diagram, and this equipment. So you check your fuses, you check your power and ground, make sure your, um, so the sensor, let's say, the sensor has four wires. The two same color are the heater and the other two are the sensor itself. So we have a problem with these two, so not the heater. The heater, I. I told them to check and they said they have power and ground for the heater. So the heater is working plus we don't have a heater uh, uh, code anyways. Uh, switch ignition off. Uh, okay, disconnect O2 sensor, bank 1, sensor 2, electrical harness connector. Uh, check the voltage. This is how you check the voltages at the uh, sensor. It should be between pin and three and four pin and three and four you disconnect and you check actually let's let's do this i didn't do it but let's do it right here i disconnected it and those two pins uh it says four, three and four so i'm probed to them and i'm checking voltage when the key is on and we have 0 0.3 0 0.234 yeah you see it so here it says Use a multimeter check the oxygen sensor, harness connector 3 and 4 uh, for voltage specified value 0 0.4 to 0 0.5. Well, we have 0 0.4. Switch ignition off if the specified value was obtained. Replace the O2 sensor, bank 1 sensor 2. Uh, refer to error manual. If the specified was not obtained, check wiring. But this is the problem. Uh, you see this check? Now we're supposed to replace the uh, O2 sensor, but I know for sure that the O2 sensor is good. And I'm not sure 100% if they changed the O2 sensor before me, it looked good, but uh, I'm not sure because even the mechanic, when he got the car from the owner, he's not sure if they changed it. 
so that's why I recommended to change the O2 sensor uh, rather than uh, doing the diag but now I'm not gonna change the O2 sensor and I guess that's why you guys are here to see what we are going to do next so we're going to go to the next step all right next step is to remove the engine control module which is located right here covered by this cover but the funny thing is I, I I don't know if these are supposed to be that way or they're uh, studs and they're broken or because on the other side you cannot take them off you cannot unscrew them from this side so it gotta be from here but those are rusted but anyway I couldn't I can remove this cover to get the the uh, the harness is out to do my check-in here so what I did I took it out of the place and I saw that this is there's a part of it exposed here and I found our two guys that are twisted together you will see some uh, grooves are twisted I mean some uh, two two wires twisted like yellow brown and uh, orange and brown and we have a red and brown right there those are our two wires that we're going to pierce into and if somebody's gonna say, well, no, that's no good, you're gonna uh, make holes in wiring. Yes, definitely, I agree with you. But what I have, I have a liquid tape I am going to use uh, to seal these uh, holes we're making. All right, so if your core, 2009 to 2010, you're going to check continuity, or sorry, not continuity, you are going to check resistance between pin three to 71, four to 62. If your car is 2011 and up, it's going to be 3 to 72, 4 to 84. So I'll give you a minute to pause here. All right. And let's do this. All right. This is the schematic for it. And this is the sensor, oxygen sensor. It says after three-way catalytic converter. This is the one before the catalytic converter. If you guys are interested to know the wiring uh, setup for it. But this is the after and this is uh, these are the two pins pin number three and four says green or red we have red in our case now i am probed on pin number four here pin number four by the way i think they changed the pigtail over there so the coloring is not correct and yeah pin number four we said and we are going to Palm resistance. We're going to go to the red wire. See if I can do this with one hand. It's going to be hard. I might need to pause. All right, I'm back on the red wire. You see it? And I have 0 0.7.8, which is acceptable. Uh, let's switch to pin number three over there and come to the brown one. All right, I switched to the brown one on the other side and I came here and you guys probably will wonder why did Ali switch leads here I'll tell you why because look at the resistance 3.1 now is this true I don't think so the reason why earlier off camera when I was setting up I got a good reading and look I am on pin number three. I'm about to let me put everything in one uh, frame. Okay, this is good. All right. I'm about to move the wire. Look what I'm going to get. Oh, see it? It's going down. Actually, before before even pulling the phone, I got 1.5. That's what make me decide to film this case because that might be the solution for somebody. But look at here. Keeps changing with the wire movement. I not lost it. It's fine. Actually, here I want to back probe this thing. Now I am back probed. And you see now we're supposed to be under 1.5 oh. ohm. 0.9, 0.8 is good. The other one was 0.7, I think. 
4.8 I'm not sure but within that range is good the reason why I back probed because I wanted to see it is look I'm, I'm barely moving it moving the wire I'm pulling on it now the resistance is going up so the problem I'm still not sure the reason why I back probed because I wanted to eliminate the harness like right here this female side of it but now I don't know if it is my probing or is it the wire most probably the wire because when I when I pull on it look the resistance changing uh, let's get to that wire see what's going on with it I want to open that loom hey, check this out pin three and four are right there the smaller gauge the th thicker gauge are for the uh, for the heater for the uh, two same color wire you see it so the smaller gauge are right here and I don't know why somebody would do that this is a lot of a lot of insulation and look here it's barely connected I think it's not a clean job so I am going to delete this piece and uh, put another piece of cleaner and do it correctly hopefully that's gonna bring the resistance down I got two same color thin gauge same gauge wires to replace them with this piece but what I noticed look at this uh, this O2 sensor has a lot of uh, slack in it and why they wrote it this way and bring it right here I don't know so what I'm going to do I'm gonna cut this bring the uh, connector all the way over here and cut from here eliminate all that crap on both uh, uh, on all four all right this is the outcome of it we're gonna come here and uh, I think it's nice it's better than before I cut the crap out all that is out all that is resistance and uh, I uh, soldered so hopefully that's gonna be a fix oh one other thing this is the old one that we took out or they they took out and uh, they replaced it with a Bosch one and it's a hundred dollar ninety four dollars so this is a good quality sensor and I just wanted to start with a known good uh, now some of you guys might ask okay so what is next even in the uh, test it says if, if you find any high resistance you repair it if not you change your engine control module which I think I, 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 I am still not 100% sure of my probing and if the change in the resistance is it because of the wire itself or the probing and the only thing that led me to you know do this stuff is uh, this how, how, how much resistance this could uh, cause so hopefully it is the wire but if it's not then they need the, to replace the computer so stay tuned for the results the outcome we have to clear the codes give a, give them the vehicle they have to drive it that O2 sensor has to get to operating temperature which is I think uh, 600 uh, Fahrenheit and above in order for the computer to for the engine control module to detect if the uh, circuit resistance is within spec or not so I will definitely update although with these guys I uh, usually I don't catch stuff but uh, hopefully I can catch it whenever I can if not I know they're gonna give the car to the customer back because it's been, it's been uh, here for like a week or ten days they say so stay tuned and uh, if I don't come back with a video thank you guys for watching Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that little notification button for more videos like this. I hope, I hope this video will help you uh, solve your problem uh, cheaper than a computer. One pair of pants later. We got updates about the uh, the Passat. Um, the, uh, uh, the mechanic at the shop uh, drove the car after we set the, uh, the check engine. And I told him there is a big possibility that... Um, it's, it's an engine control module. What, what we're trying to do, we're trying to save uh, the uh, uh, situation because uh, I wasn't 100% uh, sure of the uh, uh, the um, microbin or the uh, uh, resistance on that uh, brown wire. 
So he understood and he said it's better than uh, just jumping right away on the uh, engine control module. And uh, uh, unfortunately, check engine light came back and uh, I told him in this case, uh, I need to know more uh, to make sense. Why would that happen? I mean, after all, it's a, a electric component and, and, and that stuff happened. But here's the thing. He told me something that uh, I didn't know before, uh, which I'm glad that I didn't know because uh, if I knew, I probably took another direction. But uh, it's still good to, to do the process the way I did it. Uh, he said the uh, owner of the vehicle purchased the car from the auction and those O2 sensors, for some reason, they were uh, melted all together under the vehicle. That's why one of the wires, if you, if you guys go back to the video and see, it has uh, yellow signs of, you know, like when, when, when you melt uh, uh, a wire, the edge of it, uh, the edge of the fire would be like yellowish. So, and, uh, and I, I didn't know, like I thought it's because next to the uh, uh, exhaust manifold, which could be, could be uh, one of at that, uh, uh, what it, what it connects to the uh, body of the car probably went off and then uh, was touching the exhaust manifold. I'm not sure, uh, but that that's the situation. So in this case, uh, yeah, that could probably lead to a bad uh, uh, component inside the engine control module that is responsible of uh, uh, of that circuit, of that uh, sensing, uh, of that code. So what I told the uh, uh, garage uh, mechanic to do, uh, take off the uh, engine control module for me and I'll stop by to uh, see if we can open it. Hopefully it's a soldering joint. Well, you, you'll never know. Uh, probably from heat, the soldering joint melted and uh, all we have to do is uh, put solder back on a component. So hopefully it is. If it's not, then I'll keep updating the case.